वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल एंड नाउ आई वुड शो यू अ डेमो ऑफ द एच टी एम एल पेज एंड हाउ इट वर्क हाउ डू यू रन इट यूजिंग द विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सो दैट लर्निंग ऑफ द जावा स्क्रिप्ट वुड बी मच ईजियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन दिस एडिटर द विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न अवर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम यूजिंग द एच टी एम एल एंड आई हैव सेव्ड इट एज basics dot html the html tag would always begin here okay and it would close it in the end and there is a head tag that is included within which there is the title tag where i have written as website and the body tag is begin here and is ended at the end before the html tag closes inside the body tag you write headings which can be the beginning and the closure similarly h2 h3 h4 h5 you can have any number of such tags and you can also have this div tag inside the body and you can also have paragraph tags that can be written within which any text that you want can be written and the ol stands for ordered list that is item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 i have added and if you have to add an unordered list then it is ul see it even tells the ul element represents a list of item where the order of the items is not important the order is not important but in case of an ordered list the order in which the elements are present becomes important you can add anything within this and how do you run this program okay right click on this basics.html and tell it as reveal in explorer after you say that just wait for a moment and you will get it as the basics what i've saved it as just double click on this okay wait for the output see you have the heading tags that were included and this is the website or the title what we had given and all these headings are included within the size and whatever was included in the div has been printed and whatever is included in the paragraph tag is also printed in case of an ordered list the numbers are being ordered and they are being displayed but in case of an unordered list the items are not numbered they can be in any order this is about the basics of the html you can type this program check out the output and you will be able to understand this very well thanks for watching this video let us continue with the further concepts in the next tutorial thanks for watching